Hey, welcome to MM Engineering, AMCO Industries. Are your HVAC designs leaving money on the table and sacrificing comfort? What if you could revolutionize your systems to achieve unparalleled energy efficiency and superior indoor climate control? Today, we're diving deep into the advanced thermodynamic principles that are the secret to optimizing HVAC design, transforming your projects and satisfying your clients. This isn't just about tweaking existing systems, it's about pioneering the next generation of climate control. Let's start by addressing the core challenge, designing an HVIC system that's truly energy efficient while providing perfect comfort is a constant battle. We're often constrained by conventional limitations, leading to compromises that result in high energy bills and unhappy building occupants. But what if there was a breakthrough the solution isn't just better equipment, it's smarter design. Okay. And that smarter design is rooted in a deeper understanding of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics, at its heart, is the science of energy transfer, specifically heat. The first law, the conservation of energy, tells us that energy can't be created or destroyed, only changed in form in HVACs. This means every bit of heat we add or remove from a space has to go somewhere. The second law introduces the concept of entropy and tells us that heat naturally flows from hotter to colder areas. This is the fundamental principle behind refrigeration cycles and heat pumps. Understanding these laws isn't just academic, it's the foundation for designing systems that work with nature, not against it, minimizing the energy required to achieve our comfort goals. So how do we apply this in a more advanced way? Let's talk about exergy analysis. While the first law looks at the quantity of energy, exergy analysis focuses on the quality of energy. It helps us identify where the potential for work is being lost or destroyed in the system. Think of it like this. A high temperature heat source has more quality or potential to do useful work than a low temperature one. By analyzing exergy destruction, we can pinpoint the exact components in an HVEC system like compressors, heat exchangers, or even ductwork that are the biggest sources of inefficiency. This goes beyond simple energy balance. It allows for targeted improvements that yield the most significant performance gains. For example, an exergy analysis might reveal that a specific heat exchanger is the primary culprit for energy loss, guiding you to redesign or replace it for maximum impact. Another powerful tool is entropy generation minimization. Remember the second law. Entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness. In any real world process, some entropy is always generated, which represents an irreversible loss of work potential. The goal of entropy generation minimization is to design systems and processes where this generation is as low as possible. In HVAC, this means optimizing flow rates, reducing pressure drops in ducts and pipes, and improving the effectiveness of heat transfer in coils and evaporators. Okay. By focusing on minimizing these irreversible losses at a fundamental level, we create systems that are inherently more efficient. Okay. It's about designing for thermodynamic perfection, even if we can only approach it. Now, let's bring these concepts into the real world with advanced HVAC cycles. We're all familiar with the standard vapor compression cycle, but there are exciting innovations that leverage these thermodynamic principles. Take, for instance, transcritical CO2 refrigeration cycles. Its carbon dioxide, as a refrigerant, operates differently than traditional ones, especially above its critical point. Designing these systems requires a deep understanding of its unique thermodynamic properties. The benefit? CO2 is a natural refrigerant with a very low global warming potential. And in certain applications, like heat pump, water heaters, transcritical cycles can achieve remarkably high efficiencies. Okay? Then there are absorption and absorption cycles. Instead of using a mechanical compressor, these systems use a thermal compressor driven by a low-grade heat source like solar energy or waste heat from an industrial process. Absorption chillers, for example, use a solution like lithium bromide in water to create a cooling effect. 
These systems are a perfect example of applying thermodynamic principles to turn waste into a valuable resource, dramatically reducing electricity consumption for cooling. They are especially effective in large commercial or industrial settings where a cheap source of heat is readily available. The integration of renewable energy sources is another area where advanced thermodynamics is crucial. When designing a geothermal heat pump system, for example, it's not just about drilling a hole. It's about understanding the thermodynamics of heat transfer between the ground loop and the building. We need to model the ground's thermal properties, optimize the length and layout of the piping, select a heat pump that operates most efficiently with the temperatures provided by the ground. A well-designed geothermal system is a masterclass in applied thermodynamics, it's providing incredibly stable and efficient heating and cooling year-round. Let's also talk about the practical side of design and simulation. Modern Computational Fluid Dynamics, or CFD software, is a game-changer. CFD allows us to simulate the flow of air and heat within a space with incredible detail. We can visualize airflow patterns, identify hot or cold spots, K, and test the effectiveness of different diffuser placements before a single piece of ductwork is installed. This isn't just about comfort, it's about efficiency. By ensuring air is delivered exactly where it's needed, we can reduce fan energy and avoid over-conditioning spaces, saving significant operational costs. Its predictive power allows us to validate our thermodynamic models and fine-tune our designs for optimal real-world performance. So, what does this all mean for the future of HVAC? It means we're moving away from one-size-fits-all solutions and toward highly optimized intelligent systems. We're talking about buildings that practically breathe. Imagine an HVAC system that uses real-time data on occupancy, weather forecasts, and utility pricing. It uses advanced algorithms based on these thermodynamic principles to make predictive adjustments. It might pre-cool a building during off-peak hours when electricity is cheap or modulate its output based on the exact number of people in a room. This is the promise of combining advanced thermodynamics with smart controls. The result is a system that perfectly balances comfort and cost, achieving a level of precision and efficiency that was previously unimaginable. To recap, the key to unlocking the next level of HVAC performance lies in moving beyond basic principles. It's about embracing advanced thermodynamic concepts like exergy analysis and entropy generation minimization to pinpoint and eliminate inefficiencies at their source. It's about exploring innovative cycles like transcritical CO2 and absorption systems that offer sustainable and highly efficient alternatives. And it's about leveraging powerful tools like CFD and smart controls to design and operate systems that are truly optimized for their specific application. By adopting these methods, you're not just designing a better HVAC system, you're pioneering a more sustainable and comfortable future. You're delivering exceptional value to your clients through drastically reduced energy consumption and superior indoor environments. This is how we move from incremental gains to transformative breakthroughs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this deep dive has given you a new perspective on the power of thermodynamics in HVAC design. If you found this information valuable, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our future videos. We'd love to hear your thoughts or questions in the comments below. See you in the next one.